in the previous meeting uh, we studied the analytic solution of the benchmark problem and items of the finite element method the major steps of the finite element method also we generated a one dimensional mesh and wrote a program for generation of the mesh in matlab finite element analysis uh, try one right so if i run this m file you can see we have five mesh nodes and four elements so this is the first step of the finite element method actually for the first try we are going to consider a linear element and for linear element we have two mesh nodes per element as you can see here for example in this figure we have one mesh element and we have two nodes however if we consider higher order elements the number of nodes per each element is uh, higher than two that i will explain so for now consider this first example and developing the finite element equations considering linear element so how we can visualize the mesh how we can visualize the mesh we have good uh, functions for visualization of the geometry mesh and solution variables in MATLAB software for one dimensional, two dimensional, or three dimensional problems. I will explain these functions. So, here we considered five nodes and we generated the connectivity list. If I write here connectivity list, you can see the first element, two mesh nodes index of two mesh nodes of the first elements are one and two two and three three and four four and five so we have a function in matlab called patch function this function is for plotting the mesh or surfaces or volumes right i will explain in this function we have some inputs like faces vertices col uh, face color and other settings uh, what are these inputs here instead of plot function i can use this function patch and set its inputs faces or connectivity list and vertices or xn we have we should uh, the input is a matrix the input should be a matrix here we have inputs like this and actually i am going to plot a surface like this a surface like this so this is vertex one vertex two and vertex three so this surface this triangular the connectivity list is one 
two, three. This is connectivity list. And I have this matrix for coordinate of points. For example, point one, point two, and point three. I should store x1, y1, x2, y2, and so on. So here, this is xn, that is a row vector, and yn, that is also a row vector. So in MATLAB, I can use this syntax to transpose a vector, and I can also concatenate vectors. For example, if I write xn prime comma yn prime i have this matrix that is uh, like this uh, what we need for the patch function so here after generation of xn and yn i write point mesh point or xn transpose comma y n transpose and here i write p so i press a semicolon here i generate a figure for plotting of these inputs figure one and i am going to hold all sub uh, all plots in the same figure as you can see here right elements and mesh nodes i can use uh, a better uh, symbol instead of a star i can write here marker be uh, like this just for a better visualization right just for a better visualization like this that we have here 